All right, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, in this video, you're here, you know why? You know why? Because you wanna know how a client of mine won a $50 million IDIQ. And really, it's the same thing I use to grow my business. So yes, it works, and we have other testimonials, other clients have used it, and they are successful as well. But I wanna highlight this one because it should touch home for you so for those of you that don't know who I am I'm Felicia Streeter over at FeliciaStreeter.com where we help small business owners just like you win these type of contracts we start where you're at so if you're your first contract you want it to be 5,000 25,000 whatever it is we start where you're at and you grow from there but today in this video you're gonna be learning the steps one of my clients took that I taught them right to uh, win a $50 million IDIQ, a multiple year contract, just gravy. So I know you want to stick around for that. So let's jump right in because I'm going to lay it down for you. So if you want to take some notes, grab pencil and paper, use your computer, whatever note taking strategy you have, let's get this down. All right, you ready? You ready? All right. So here it is. And I'm going to refer to my notes because I want to give it to you straight up. Okay. Because I want you to be able to take this and use it. So here's the first thing. In order to win a government contract, right, you need to know your deficiencies. I always start my clients out with looking at your business preferences and your capacity to perform. And when you look at that, it will reveal deficiencies. So we need to know what are your deficiencies? Where do you need help? That's the first thing. After we realize that, the next thing is you need to become a student of the government marketplace. That means learning what you don't know. Whatever that entails, do you need to get a mentor? Um, do you need to, you know, you're just going to Google for the next year? Whatever works for you, however fast you want to move it along. But you need to become a student of the market and start learning um, how the government marketplace works because it is different than the private sector. So there's a learning curve and you have to fill that gap. Okay, after you do that, the next thing is to get laser focused on your specialty. Because I have people come to me all the time and they have a broad range of things that they wanna to offer to the government. But here's the thing, you know, what, how, what is that saying? Uh, a jack of all trades, but a master of none. And then the other piece of that is, then people don't really know what to refer to you, right? You see me looking up in the, in the sky, that, that's their thought process. Like, what does she do? What does she say she did? She did this, this, and so which one does she do the best? Or which one does she do, the, you know, it, it leaves a lot of questions and no results. So get laser focused on what you're going to offer in the government marketplace. The next thing is you want to find a... Uh, government contractor that's already doing work with the government right they've been awarded contracts and they're bigger than you but they're reachable meaning you can reach the owner and you can put a deal together okay after you do that <clears throat> you also want to qualify them and just make sure um that that you're in alignment meaning maybe they're a minority company as well if your service is at dis disabled vet maybe they're one as well so that you can kind of be on the same level and they can kind of teach you the ropes as it relates to um, getting the contract, delivering the contracts, you know, like um, tricks of the trade, if you will. Uh, the next thing is you have to be able to negotiate the deal. And one of the things I teach my clients is all about creating your best deal. So I don't care what deal I put together, I could put a deal together for you, but if you don't feel it's your best deal, it's not gonna be a good deal to you. So you have to know what qualifies as a, uh, a great deal for you and be able to negotiate and get that deal, okay? Another thing you need to be able to do is put together you know, collaborations, teaming arrangements. Um, and if you're just starting out, you more than likely are not gonna jump straight into a joint venture um, you need to know what you're doing, but you may go and do a teaming arrangement. And so you need to be able to put that together as well, how to put together a teaming arrangement, or if you're going to be a subcontractor, how to put together that 
type of deal, right? And how to collaborate that. Um, what to do, and the next thing is what will you do once you're awarded a contract? What do you need to put in place, right? What needs to happen? All of that you need to know, okay? And then after you're awarded the contract, and of course, before that, you know, you have to bid the contract, whether it's a bid, uh, IFB, uh, or if it's an RFP, request for a proposal, you need to be able to put that together, right? And then you get the award, okay? And then after you get the award, it's all about putting systems in place for the back office. I always say, don't let your back office prevent the success in your front office. So you got to then have systems in place not only out in the field, whether you're delivering a product or a service, but in your back office to manage the paperwork and get paid, okay? So you gotta learn the paperwork of the government. You have to learn the government systems to get paid because each agency is a little bit different. And then what technology do you need to make it happen and facilitate a successful uh, delivery of a project, okay? So that's what you need to do, all right? And that's what I taught my client to do. And that's what I do on repeat, right? Because every so often, uh, the first part, you still have to look at your deficiencies and things like that, right? So this is a never-ending cycle that you'll be in as long as you're doing business. So you need to know one, okay? So here's the thing. Here's what you need to do in order to get that first contract. Are you ready? Let's go. The first thing you need to do is, one, you're going to discover your deficiencies. Two, what exactly you need to become a student of, right? So what do you need to learn? You need to figure that out and know what you need. Something keep popping up on my phone. What you need to learn. The third thing is, how will you find a prime contractor and someone that's similar in what you do because you want to get some of their subcontracting opportunities, right? You should. I'm throwing that out there. That's a little sugar for a dime. If you didn't think that, now you know, okay? The fourth thing is, how will you find bid opportunities that are ideal for you? How will you find bid opportunities that are ideal for you? And I say that because there's a lot of people bidding contracts that they have no chance at winning. If they follow the steps that I teach in my program, Contractors Edge Bootcamp, then they could alleviate a bunch of wasteless effort wasted time okay so how will you find uh bidding opportunities or or rfp that you have a chance at winning you need to know how you're going to do that and then you know um here's the thing so if you don't know how to do these things that i share if it's like all overwhelming pump your brakes pump it right stop i'm not leaving you hanging right you can reach out and you can have a call with me and i'll definitely uh help you in this area to find out you know what it's truly going to take on your part what it truly will look like and the action steps you need to take in order to win your first government contract so if that's you and you need that help and some insight and this is like okay felicia i get you it's a lot but you need some help and support in implementing this then definitely go over to ask ask felicia streeter.com I'll put it in the comments below and you can definitely schedule a session with me and we'll definitely get you on the right track of what you need to do and how we can support you in getting on the track to that first government contract. All right. So glad you stuck around to the end. Definitely. If you're digging what I'm putting down, make sure you like this video and definitely if you have not go ahead and subscribe, we're trying to share the wealth. I mean, there's trillions of dollars being spent every year, right? In government contracting. I can't do them all you can't do them all so share this video share it with someone else that you know they're either thinking about government contracting they're in government contracting or you feel they should be in government contracting commit to sharing this video with two other people right now all right until the next video have an awesome rest of your day and i'll see you real soon bye for now